When we opened up and we realised there was much more material than we originally could see, we understood that this was a, a hoard that was, you know, of a kind of scale and size that, you know, is exceptional for Britain and probably even Europe. The hoard includes over 800 individual items and that's lots of different kind of material. The vast majority of that material is what we call horse harness, those things like bridle bits and bits of decoration for horses or ponies as they really were in the Iron Age. What's unusual about the hoard is it also includes lots of pieces of the vehicles that came with them so the bits that held the wheels on and actually the tyres themselves. We have 28 iron tyres um, from those vehicles. What we've also discovered from this hoard, which again makes it very unusual, is that it looks like those vehicles are perhaps four-wheeled wagons rather than the sort of two-wheeled chariots that most people are perhaps a bit more familiar with from the British Iron Age. So a really unusual collection of material. But more than that, it also included two vessels, a cauldron and a wine mixing bowl, and also some things like spearheads, so a whole collection of material. The cauldron and the bowl are really interesting items. They're almost certainly used for feasting, so we know from cauldrons elsewhere that they contain things like stews and meals in them. The bowl's a little bit different, and that probably was for using consumption of wine or perhaps things like beer. Why that's really interesting is it's very unusual to have those in a hoard which also includes lots of pieces of vehicles and horse harness. So it suggests that whatever's happening is perhaps a feasting event. These are the kind of events that we have in the Iron Age where somebody important is bringing lots of people together, consuming lots of drink and food and then depositing those in the deposit.